Problem 3. Dan wants to determine the average distance he hits a golf ball with his new driver. That's a type of golf club. He finds the following data in yards. Construct a 95% confidence interval answer using as a whole answer using whole numbers. So, okay, we're asked to construct a 95% confidence interval, so we have to figure out what it's about. Now, we already know what this section's about, but, you know, a lot of times you're given different types of questions at the same time. So he wants to determine if the average distance, so that must be what we're making a confidence interval in. So I don't see a known standard deviation, so it seems like we're in the right section. Now, it also doesn't say that we have a normal distribution and our sample size is not 30 or more, but let's assume that we do get to use the formula. So the first thing that we need to do is find our sample average and our sample standard deviation. So I was able to just enter those numbers into my calculator and just push two or three buttons to get the sample standard deviation and the average. So next thing I need to do is use the 95% to know that on the t-table I'm going to go to 0.05 two-tail at the top right? I'm going to go to row 5 to find t alpha over 2 is 2.571. So notice we had six numbers in our data set, so we go to rows n minus 1 for degrees of freedom. And now I can go ahead and plug everything into my point estimate plus or minus my margin of error formula. Enter all of that straight across into my calculator. And I get some values, double checking, it says answer is a whole number. So I'm gonna get 248 to 291 is what the true population average probably falls between. So the bottom asks, if his old driver averaged 230 yards, do you think the new driver has caused his average to go up and why? How far he hits a golf ball. So yes, because his true average is probably between 248 to 291 yards. All values in this range are above 230. So no matter where it falls in our confidence interval, it's got to be a number that's over 230. Now true, we're only 95% um, confident, so only 95% of the time, 95 times, will we have the true mean in our range, but hopefully this is one of those 95 out of 100 times. And then another quick side note. Um, if his old average had been 250, We'd say we can't tell if his average has gone up because 250 is inside of that range. And since the confidence interval could be at the lower end, 248 could be his true population average, 249, 249.5. So if the number ever falls inside the confidence interval, we really don't have enough information to tell, even though this one fell pretty close to the lower end.